Coming up this time on Sailing Cedar McClyde. After an 11-day stay in the San Francisco Bay, we head back out into the open Pacific Ocean to begin harbor hopping down the California coast to Mexico. Following a very uneventful day sail, we arrive in the peaceful Half Moon Bay where we do some hiking, beach chilling, and sailboat race watching. This episode wraps up with a fun, fast sail down to Santa Cruz. Thanks so much for tuning in and enjoy the episode. All right, at last we are leaving the San Francisco Bay. There's a nice little breeze on our nose, but we should be able to, to kind of do a couple of tacks to get out of here. Work with the tides, we're gonna work it so that it's uh, ebbing until we're just like, getting past the bridge there. Hopefully be slack when we're going across the bar, which is what you want with the swell and everything. You don't want to be, uh, have, a, have a go against that. We are just about to sail out of the Bay Area. We've been here for about 11 days. It's been very lovely. We're very close to sailing underneath the Golden Gate Bridge again. Back out to the open Pacific Ocean. Yeah! And the forecast is really nice. It's nice and gentle. The swell is low today. Wind waves really low today. If anything, we're going to be wishing for a bit more wind. So, but we'll, so far, so good out here. Um, hoping this will just kind of carry on down the coast. The lead up to passing back under the Golden Gates felt pretty heavy. Of course we won a win, but considering how our previous offshore leg went, a lot of anxiety surrounding heading back into the open ocean was present aboard Cedric McClyde. Especially for Kat, who bore the brunt of the seasickness and misery while we bashed through the gale, now just two weeks removed. So in the interest of getting past this sloppy water here and not being in the shipping lanes, uh, we are motoring for a little bit to get out of the uh, Golden Gate area here and start heading down the coast towards Half Moon Bay. There's not really fog so much as just um, high marine cloud today, so that's all right. It'll be kind of a cloudy day, I think, and hopefully it'll clear out later this afternoon. That'd be nice, but either way, it's a pretty good day out here so far. Got to sail up until this point. Upon hitting the open ocean swell, which was exaggerated by the San Francisco Bay Bar, Cat was immediately seasick. Given that the sea state was forecast to be low, and we only had about 20 miles of open ocean to get through that day, Cat had opted not to take seasickness medication. While the seas really weren't that bad, it would seem that the anxiety of being back in the open ocean got the best of her this day. Well, it looks like we're out of luck for wind out here today, but we're only five miles left till we'll be dropping the anchor. Just gotta go around this headland here, and that'll be it. We'll be in a nice protected uh, Half Moon Bay where there's this huge breakwater that closes it out from any uh, Pacific swell that might come in. Hey, sunfish. Hello. What do you think, cat? <laughs> All right, after a motor fest of four hours, we are approaching the breakwater here at Half Moon Bay now. Looking forward to that. Still in the swell here right to the last second. Beautiful, warm, sunny day. So it's supposed to be pretty hot the next few days, like into the low 30s, I think, 30 Celsius or so. Looking forward to that. And just relaxing here in this protected spot. Ah. We got uh, Captain Cat here driving the ferry. We were told we could use this little ferry boat. Saves the yard and it up the beach. So we're just gonna do that. It's kind of fun. This little contraption. And it's uh, wired with um, zappers to keep the sea lions off of it. Upon arriving at Half Moon Bay and Cat quickly rebounding from being seasick, we headed ashore to stretch our legs. Half Moon Bay is a lovely little seaside town with a number of restaurants and pubs to choose from and a small grocery store down the highway about a 20 minutes walk. Once back at the boat, we were delighted to have our first perfectly calm night at anchor since leaving the Pacific Northwest. No ferry wake, no swell, just calm waters and the usual chorus of California sea lions. today. Up it's called the French Trail. 
or gods, or I've also seen Spine Trail. <laughs> so we'll see what we think of it. But it's about a nine mile loop up one ridge and across, and then down another one. Nice. Okay, we're on our way down the hill now. Had a beautiful hike up here. Pretty hot today. We, uh, we didn't have to be in the full loop we were thinking about doing, but this is plenty beautiful and plenty good exercise. So, really nice spot. Wonderful looking out over the Pacific Ocean here. That was fun. Yeah. Super fun people here at the uh, Half Moon Bay Yacht Club. We had a beer, chatted with some folks. And now we're heading back to the boat after a nice day on shore. It's Captain Cat. Driving. Today was really nice. Yeah. It was very hot and very sticky. And it's getting a little too cool for me to think about taking a shower. But mm. I think so. There's a great blue heron on one of those boats. Yeah, yeah Half Moon Bay is great. Yeah. Looking forward to another day of it. The chisel. Yeah. There it is, there it is, there it is. Go, 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 go. <laughs> We're underway on the uh, the ferry boat here in Half Moon Bay. We're rock walking over to Ross Beach, just uh, on the other side of Half Moon Bay. There's a, like a radar, Air Force installation here um, where people can actually hike up there. It's interesting. Anyways, we're just walking up a closed road here and gonna go check out a beach facing out to the Pacific Ocean. This one? I mean, we can walk along, sure. Okay. Pretty classic feeling California beach here. The military installation and all. It's just beautiful here though. We found a little shady spot in the corner and just gonna relax and chill out for the day. This is wonderful. We've got the beach to ourselves at the moment. A little uh, mist from the surf breaking here. Well, that was a very lovely time down at the beach. Yeah, it was really nice to have our first day laying on whitish <laughs> sands and reading and eating fruit and burritos. I can definitely do that again. Yeah. It's hot though. Damn. We had shade for the most of the time we were there, but then we lost the shade and the wind. There wasn't really any wind either, so we're heading back to the boat to go have a siesta and cool off a bit, have a little cool shower. And yeah, it's probably like... 80, 85 Fahrenheit, like 30, around 30 Celsius, I'd estimate. It's toasty. I think this is uh, unseasonably warm even for here, it, it being the start of October. So yeah, enjoying the heat, but gonna go cool off for a bit and we'll go for a walk later. It feels nice. <laughs> Well, we had a wonderful day today, just relaxing on that beach. And then we came back to the boat and chilled here. It's just beautiful temperatures all day. And now there's a nice northerly breeze blowing off the land. So it's warm still, no dew at all yet. So I'm barbecuing up some tuna, gonna have some dinner and just relax out here in the boat. I think we'll actually eat outside tonight. This beautiful, warm fall day. So yeah, night. Hey there! Well, Trevor is out getting propane, and it's the first time 
in like probably over a month that we haven't been more than 33 feet away from each other. Um, I just took a shower in the cockpit and I'm journaling and reading and um, calling some friends. And while I'm out here, the Half Moon Bay Yacht Club is doing a little beer can race. And it is so fun seeing their sweet little boats out here. So yeah, we're having a great time. <laughs> nice work. All right, and here comes Trevor in for the win. Apparently our boat is part of the race course here because we're getting boats just going right past the bow, like within like five feet or something. That was really close. Kind of surprised they didn't catch our chain on their keel. That'd be fun, spin us around. Good morning. We're just about to pull up anchor from Half Moon Bay. Yeah. <laughs> And here in Half Moon Bay, there's been a very strong diurnal signal where the mornings are super calm and then by about one or two, the wind comes up. So we're hoping that a little further off the shore, the wind will come up sooner, but we are gonna get going now because we have about 45 miles to make to get to Santa Cruz, which is the next anchorage. There's nothing along the way until then. Um, but it's a beautiful calm morning, slept really well. It's been really nice here. Aside from the sea lions barking through the night, it's a very peaceful place to be. And they're not so bad. They just go in little spurts of arr, arr. I decided to take some Dramamine last night as a preventative motion sickness tactic. And so it is the less drowsy one, but I'm definitely feeling a little sleepy and like groggy this morning. I took another half. So yeah, I'm still working through the trauma of when we were offshore and um, yeah, just trying to help my body enjoy this experience so if i'm laying down again it's probably because of that but i want it to be an enjoyable experience yeah so the swell is quite mellow today i think only two feet and the wind waves are forecast to be one to three feet obviously there's zero right now but uh hoping for some wind to keep the sails full to give our give us a better motion while we cruise here but should be pretty mellow out of the breakwater here and we got some lee from the prevailing northwest swell so off we go see you later half moon bay Just as we thought, it's pretty mellow out here to begin with, but there is some breeze, not enough with the swell to fill sails, but the main sails generally staying full. So far, cat's feeling pretty good. Drowsy with the Dramamine that she took, but not feeling seasick, so that's a, that's a big win right there. If she naps the whole way to Santa Cruz, that's just fine me. Sure beats uh, being sick, I'd say. All right, after a bit of motoring there, the wind has come up quite nicely and we are sailing under hydrovane and full canvas. And it's just beautiful out here. Continued pretty good sailing here. Going wing on wing to get closer to the shore now because we're heading a little bit too far offshore than we need to. And the winds are building a little bit. So I'm optimistic they're gonna continue increasing and we're gonna have even better sailing, but we're still cruising along at a solid uh, four to five knots most of the day so far. So I'll take that. Cat is sleeping, but not seasick. So definitely the effects of the motion sickness pill she's taking are keeping her sleepy, but she hasn't puked or anything like that. So really feeling really excited and happy about that. We're just a few miles out from Santa Cruz now. 
the sea states kind of has improved and it's, it's quite enjoyable sailing close to the shore now. We're just about a half mile off and it's neat seeing, seeing something while we're cruising along other than just blue water, which is beautiful. But this is nice just to be seeing the shore passing us along as we cruise along here at five and six knots pretty much the whole day. And Kat's feeling pretty good. She's eating, she's hanging out. I spent most of the day laying down, but not actually being sick, which is an improvement. And I think that medication gave me stone head. <laughs> head just feels really heavy. I feel like I have a headache. So I think I would use it again in the future, but maybe like a half dose. So we're working on it, improving for sure. And it is very lovely. Interestingly, the wind flipped right onto our nose here as we're doing our last couple miles here. So we just kicked on the engine and motoring up into Santa Cruz Harbor now. Well, we're anchored up here at Santa Cruz and it's not so bad. There's a bit of a southerly swell rolling us around a tiny bit and we're having a quick dinner and then we're trying to rock up to a nearby town on the bus to go see the whalers, Bob Marley's old man. But yeah, looking forward to spending uh, at least a day here anyways, it's cool. Coming up next time on Sailing, Cedra McClyde. After a short stay at the rolly anchorage in front of Santa Cruz, we sail off into the fog to Moss Landing located across Monterey Bay. There, we check out the beautiful beaches go restock on some fresh veggies and fruit at a nearby market, and go kayaking where Trevor is treated to an uncomfortably up-close experience of a wild sea otter. Finally, we do a short hop over to the city of Monterey where we are welcomed to the Monterey Peninsula Yacht Club, and then go check out the nearby classic tourist attractions. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Sailing Sea Dream of Clyde. If you enjoy these episodes, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave a comment too. We love reading them. If you love these videos, check out our Patreon page via the link below where you can directly support the making of these videos while also gaining access to additional exclusive content. Bye for now!